Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, December 8th. Uh, 12th to the 18th, I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Cappies. First up, we have the Four of Swords reversed, followed then by the Nine of Pentacles upright. And next we have um, Hanged Man reversed, followed then by the Ace of Cups in the upright, and lastly, King of Pentacles in the upright. So for your overall energy, uh, Capricorn, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. Your time for rest and relaxation has come to an end, my dear Cappies. Four of Swords in the upright is when we sort of put ourselves, um, lay ourselves up because of several reasons. Sometimes it's to recharge our batteries. Sometimes it's due to exhaustion. Sometimes it's due to, um, you know, breakup or uh, physical um, ailments. It could be, you know, recovering from an operation or something like that. But when the card is inverted this is where the healing process and the healing period and the time for hiding ourselves away has come to an end now something could have happened um that sort of uh, snapped you out of it it could be a, like a need for you to get moving again towards something or to take action towards something and that's why or it could just be that you simply feel better your time for healing is over you're like ready to snap back into it and get moving just like my dear capricorns are always ready to get a move on <laughs> capricorns don't like to stay idle that's for sure so Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the strong, independent energy card. This can uh, indicate sitting pretty, finally landing. It's a very secure and stable energy. So this could be you. Some of you could have landed a uh, job or a uh, career position that sort of put you in a position of pretty good security. Maybe not to the Ten of Pentacles level, but it's something like the Nine of Pentacles is something we can work towards, aspire, and it's sort of like um, labor-induced, um, you know, financial security. So the only thing is with this type of energy it's fiercely independent just like you capricorns and um there is also just i always say this when the uh, nine of pentacles comes up because of its fierce independence nature that if y yes capricorn you don't need anybody but if you should want or desire anything from company to you know assistance in any way do not be so independent that you don't reach out that's the thing about the Nine of Pentacles. She can sometimes be representing like sort of loneliness and singlehood and so forth only because she chooses not to venture out to uh, reach out to anybody. So you're sitting pretty. Looks like some of you could have landed a nice secure place to land, which is always good, whether it be job wise, home wise, what have you. But um, don't be too independent, Cappies, because people love you and we want to see you out and about. <laughs> and out and about you are. <laughs> Next card is the hanged man in the reverse position. See, very similar energy here. This is also about returning to action. So some of you, perhaps you're just going back to work and uh, that's why, you, you know, maybe some of you were off for a period of time and now it's time to return to work. Others of you, it, it, something could be going on, perhaps a new way to make money or added security, stability has come your way and you're jumping at the chance. So the hangman in reverse can point to where we're no longer being held up. Sometimes the hangman in the upright can represent, yes, us looking at things from a different perspective. So we are holding ourselves back. And that could be the case for some of you. But also, too, the hangman upright can point to where we have to wait. There is no uh, way we can move forward. We just uh, have to be suspended there in time until either the person gets back to you, whether it be for a job, a home situation, whatever. Remember, these are just general reads, so just take what makes sense to you. 
So some of you were caught up in that sort of suspended energy for whatever reason. You could have been waiting to hear back from somebody. You could have been waiting for emails or things to surface. But it looks like they have now or you will get word this week that they have. And that could be propelling you to, you know, get back. Maybe so, like I said, some of you are just getting back to work now or uh, just getting the go ahead to move somewhere or to do something or start your business, whatever the case may be. So you are returning to action and if it's if it's the other energy where it was you holding yourself back because you were looking at things from a different perspective, you weren't quite sure 100% which way to to move. Well, it looks like you've come out you come out of that energy as well. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful Ace of Cups in the upright position. Well, this is a nice energy. It could be a nice surprise for some of you. Maybe you meet somebody. If you're single and looking, it could be, you know, meeting the love of your life, others of you, and that could open your heart. This is the heart chakra opening, and it's just beautiful. Sometimes this will come up when there's a new baby being born into the family it could be your own child or it could be uh, maybe niece nephew grandchild godchild that's coming into the world and you're meeting them for the first time and it's just sort of you know giving your heart the feels uh, for others of you like I said could be a new romance that really opening up that heart for others of you it could be an opportunity from the universe to do something that would make you feel really good on the emotional front indicating it could be your dream home your dream uh, job or career comes um, as an opportunity, a blessing from the universe to you. <laughs> Something that comes out of the anti-cosmos that make you feel really, really good. And for others of you, this is simply representing that self-love where we're finally realizing our own self-worth and we're filling up our own cup, which is always suggested to do that first before you can really, really give your heart and love to someone else. You have to be full first. So perhaps for some of you, you are treating yourself in a very nice way, especially if you're just, you know, coming off a recuperation or something. Maybe you're being really gentle with yourself. You are sort of um, doing the things for yourself that you would do for somebody that you loved. That's showing self-love where, say, for example, if your, you know, loved one, a family member or friend was hurting and physically hurting, maybe you might give them a gift certificate of a day at the spa. Well, maybe this is you doing it for yourself, showing yourself the love that you would extend to someone else. Very beautiful energy. Could be a baby pet for some of you. I always say that with the Ace of Cups because it has come up before. And uh, I know I, like a lot of you, feel really, really good when, you know, you're holding that baby, baby animal, the baby kitten or puppy or whatever your animal of choice may be. It's something that can really open the heart. And the last card you have is the King of Pentacles. Look at you coming up in your own reading in the upright position. <laughs> King of Pe Pentacles is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is uh, Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, the King of Pentacles can represent someone in the financial field. This could be a banker. This could be a financial advisor, a real estate agent. Um, for some of you, perhaps you are uh, approaching this person to fund what could be a beautiful opportunity for you. Maybe you, it's an opportunity to do something that you would love to do, like your dream career or job, and maybe you're going to the bank or talking to your financial advisor to see if it's something that's feasible and tangible for you. Because remember, the pentacles represent that tangible stuff. It's the, the things such as, you know, our money, our possessions, our belongings, our work, and things like that. So for others of you, King of Pentacles could represent your uh, new love interest because the, the Ace of Cups is there. Perhaps some of you are falling for somebody who's really strong, stable, can represent a small business owner, uh, someone in a position of power, somebody who's good with money. But you are also the King of Pentacles energy. So Capricorn, this is you coming up in your own reading, indicating you are on the right path with whatever it is you're trying to do on the tangible levels, right? If you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to build, um, uh, you know, a stable home life or whatever it is, you're on the 
right path. Um, if you're dealing with a real estate agent, it could be because, you know, your dream home just became available. <laughs> Whatever's going on, don't forget to leave the comment in the comment section below. You guys are my biggest uh, commenters. So can't wait to hear from you. And it looks like a pretty good week. I really hope you have a fantastic one. Thank you so much for joining me, my cappies. And um, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Much love. Bye-bye for now.